We're back in Nashville, Tennessee at the lovely Gaylord Hotel and Convention Center. Let's take a tour. Right after that intro, roll that intro. I just want to see the light. Hi all, Keith here. Welcome to the video. We're at some place we haven't been in a hot minute. The Gaylord here in Nashville, Tennessee. This place is amazing. Let's check it out. All right, there's like a literal boat ride that runs through the middle here. It goes all the way around here. This boat ride is, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. And here's the pricing, all ages, $15.99 plus tax. Ages three and under are free, and it's daily from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. But like, it seems like every quarter you go around, there's a new Vista with something really cool. Like, look at that. Reminds me of like old New Orleans style down here. It's really cool. Up here, up top, right behind the boat ride, they got like a little shopping area. Stacks Burger Restaurant right there. Cinnabon, Annie's, and some other places down that way. And also, if you can see, there's like rooms with balconies facing into the lobby here. So that is a room category you could choose and you'll be in one of the different sections. Um, I'm not sure you can choose, but really nice. And there's a convention center over there. So if you want to host an event or something, this will be a great place to do it. But I mean, just like look how tranquil this place is. It's awesome. And so far we've made it to the Delta Island area. That's where we were, the Delta Island area. So we're going to go up to the Cascades lobby and registration and check that out. They do have gift shops apparently everywhere because here's another one, Delta Necessities. It's like t-shirts and whatnot. It's pretty cool. And again, with the uh, lovely balconies, looks like there might be a restaurant or something down there in the middle of the lobby here. But like, it's just so tropical. I love it. Check out the lovely orchids right there. And down here, they have the jumping, or it used to be like jumping water. I don't know if it's gonna jump for us or not. Never mind, we saw a person cleaning over there. So they probably took the jumping part off for now, but it's really pretty. And this is actually like the main uh, Cascades restaurant here. Huh where you can go get like uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they're right behind it there, that um, rock formation back there that you can sort of see. I'll zoom in right there. That's, uh, you can get sushi and stuff there. And I've got that sushi there many times. It's really delicious. They got this thing called Sound Waves. It's like an indoor water park. If we can find it, we'll show it to you, but I don't know where it is exactly. Stay tuned. Just like walking back down the path here. But this is like the main lobby is back down there and all that foliage right beyond the Cascades restaurant we just looked at. This is a cool area on your way back to the pool. Like check out the waterfall, but they have a thing where you can see the backside of water. That's pretty cool. They actually have two windows. You want to stay here and be mesmerized by the backside of water. It's really neat. Here's kind of a better view from up on the balcony of where we were just right behind there. But this whole area is just beautiful. Like, see the slow pan around here, but I mean, it is really impressive to stay at this hotel. They do have a spa in here back by the indoor pool if you're looking for spa services while you're here. But we're not like actively staying at this hotel tonight, so we can't go check out the indoor pool for you. But if I can find the video where we did stay here, I'll link it up in the corner. Back towards the lobby, we got the Cascade Necessities, which looks like a little gift shop. Got like t-shirts and snacky things and ornaments and whatnot. And right off the main lobby, which is right around the corner there, they have a Starbucks. So that's pretty cool. Get your morning Joe when you come down here. That's awesome. Here's kind of an overview of the main lobby. Really neat. They got like a little center area there with some blown glass and a dome. Lots of people over there, so we're not going to go all the way over there, but it's a really neat lobby. Okay, I knew if we stayed here long enough, we're right by the lobby again. But the remember how earlier I said the water jumps? Well, there it goes. Jumping all over there. pretty neat. This area, this whole area is really beautiful. I just can't get over it. Right behind the main lobby, they also have an arcade here for you. Got quite a few machines. So anyway, talking about the paper flower here, which is down there on their gazebo. They best bloom in the spring and fall. And this conservatory that we're in, the Garden Conservatory, was actually opened in 1983. It consists of 467 rooms and a two-acre tropical garden. So here's kind of an overview of the Garden Conservatory. It's really neat. Check out the cool guitar there. They got hanging in the Garden Conservatory here amongst the palm trees. 
it's beautiful in here. Just like, look at all the random, cool, like it feels like you're in a forest, not in a hotel. I mean, I can't even <laughs> explain how awesome this is in here. Like, where's the last hotel you were at where there was a creek literally inside running through the hotel? Here's the gazebo we were looking at from up there. It's really pretty. It's got a fountain in the middle of everything. We've eaten here before and it was really good as I remember, but I'm guessing the Mexican restaurant is only open for dinner. I don't know, but there's sort of the menu. Pause to read what they have. Looks really good though. I like it. I just love the garden conservatory or any place in here really, you just like walk around the corner. I keep saying that, but you find some more breathtaking vistas like this one. I mean, when your hotel is this awesome, Wiley, right? There's also a pasta restaurant in here. Ravello. Looks pretty delicious. Get like a nice open kitchen there. Pause to read the menu. These are more upscale prices than the Mexican restaurant we looked at just a little bit ago, but hey, it's good to have options. Here's sort of a look back into the garden conservatory with another guitar on this side. That place is beautiful, but if we spin around here at the other end of the garden conservatory, there's this Bravo gelato with all these delicious gelato flavors. And right behind the gelato place, there's another gift shop. There's no shortage of gift shops in this place. <laughs> and we found the sound waves area, which is like their water park. Let's go see if we can see anything. I don't think we'll be able to see anything because it says to proceed past this point, you get our wristbands. And we don't have wristbands. Dang it. Here's like, they got like a wave flow rider thing and so, like a big lazy river thing and a pool. Looks pretty fun. Now this is an extra thing that if you stay here, you have to add it to your your hotel and it's not that cheap to add it but if you're into water parks you might want to consider it so here's a wsm today radio station that was in here and informational boards that take you through the years and in 1932 they increased the power so you can hear it through the u.s and canada they got different legends that came out of here like pat sajak i mean i remember pat it was also the radio home of the grand old opry if you want to read any of this stuff you can probably pause and read it and then it talks about how the country artists of today are still playing on the radio wsm that's cool right here in the gaylord or back here in the district this is pretty cool it's like sports bars and whatnot down through there. They have a nice Cowboy and Angels uh, Western shop in here, and we've actually gotten some stuff in here before. It's really neat. Me and Nathan are just chilling in the CD area right here, and I looked up and check this out. That is one impressively huge chandelier up there. I love it. I mean, this hotel is a whole vibe. I love it. We just decided to take a little chill here, sit and relax in the lobby over here next to that giant chandelier. This place is, if nothing, huge. I don't know how many acres we're, we're spanning here, but this place is huge. If I figure that out, I'll put it up here, but it's just gorgeous. Like we've stayed here several times and I can't wait to stay again real soon, hopefully. But this trip, we wanted to be like more downtown Nashville. So that's what we're doing. But we couldn't come to Nashville without visiting the Gaylord because it is beautiful. I can't say that enough. I've probably said that 10,000 times in this video. So if you're doing a drinking game, don't do it to the world word beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're going to keep going and see what else we can find out about this hotel. Here's like an overview so you can get a just sheer size of this place. We're back here in the Magnolia area. And then we came in over here in the Delta area around the boat ride and whatnot. So we got to go all the way back up here and all the way around there. And then right back up here is the main lobby. And then that we just walked through this way. So we sort of went down the main lobby this way and now we're gonna go this way can i do like a big loop of the entire property and they have the jack daniels restaurant in here we've eaten here it's really good they also have like sports bars and stuff like that back this way this is sort of like back towards the convention center like you saw on the map and we've come full circle right down there's the boat rides and we were looking over here towards the uh vincent center where we came in check out this giant impressive fountain and there's like a goose on top <laughs> and here's sort of the end of the boat right it comes like down here and it goes like around these fountains down here but like all that right there in the middle is like stack burger and stuff like that and 
and the boat rides like right around the corner here so we've come full circle but i think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here from the lovely gaylord opry lane resort here in nashville tennessee if you're looking for a place that's not downtown but is full of beautiful gardens and fun things to do for you and the kids and restaurants plenty of restaurants and the Opry Mills Mall is like literally a half a mile away so there's like a rainforest cafe all kinds of shops and stuff like that in the mall plus they have a golf course not real far from here that you can put, put golf packages through the hotel so this is like a great place in Nashville we love this hotel we'll definitely be back sometime in the near future to check out the rooms for you but all in all this is a lovely hotel and one worth a check out next time you're in Nashville, Tennessee. All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here, but make sure you hang out for a little bit longer because we'll have some in cards with video suggestions and we'd love it if you'd watch another video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you got something out of this video or you just want to help keep this show on the road, consider clicking that super thanks button down there. Anyway, you choose to support the channel, we really appreciate it. All right, I'd love to know who made it this far in the video because you are the real ones. If you did, say the best hotel in Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee, down there in the comments to let me know you made it this far into the video. All right, everyone, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace and love.